Hey you everybody, how you doing? I hope you are doing well. Uh, I'm back again. Now there's a, a follower of mine called Calvin. Calvin requested that I do a song called in Kumiromu Kwano by Aziz Azion and uh, yeah, it's what I've come to do today. I hope you like this tutorial. But before we go ahead, I just want to inform you that uh, if you are interested in my one-on-one -on -one lessons, my one-on-one -on -one classes, uh, you can just hit me up. Just contact, just leave a message. I'll reach out. I'm going to put my number right here so that you can easily reach out. This number is on WhatsApp. Uh, you can call me if you're around town. Uh, I do online classes, Zoom classes. I have uh, different students. I have a Joseph in Norway. I have Shakira. Shakira is in Dubai. I have other students as well. So, uh, if you're interested uh, in one-on-one -on -one lessons, just hit me up. Uh, if you're in the queue of C, the main chords will be the A minor, the F, the C, and the G. Because the progression basically is a 6, it's a 4, a 1, and a 5. And luckily, the song has the same progression throughout. The verses, the chorus, and the bridge. Okay? That's the bridge, okay? So when you're doing your, your when you're in the key of your, in the key of C, sorry, you do the A minor as your six, the F as your number four, you come to the C. So number one, because it's the key we are in, and then you do your five, which is a G. So I'm trying as much as possible to play it slower for the, the people that are interested, that are first time learners. Okay, now let me move to the key of D. The key of D has a B minor. You, so you need a B minor, you need a G, you need a D, and then the A, okay? So your B minor is your number six. Mm -hmm. Your number six, you move to the G, you come back to the D, which is your one. The G is your four, the D is your one, then the A will be your number five, okay? So you play the, you, you play the B minor, the G, the D and then the A. Ze kuli ze no bula, kwa no kwenge nga sikula. Kuvare wane kawa, obula mu wange tewe ya gala. Nagama simu ne kuwa, wanzi kakanye mu kwa nga sikufuna. Basically that's the progression in the key of T. Now let's move uh, to the key of G. When you're in the key of G, you'll need the E minor, the C, the G, and the D. Okay? So your E minor will be your 6. The C will be your number 4. The G will be your number 1. And the D will obviously become your number 5. So. So I'm trying to take it as the song is uh, faster than that but the reason as to why I'm playing it slow is because this video is basically for learning purposes okay that's why I'm trying to play as slow as possible okay so uh, for those that are good at it already 
bear with us so those that are learning that's why uh this channel is basically for learning okay so uh let's try the key of a i usually give three keys but today let me give the fourth key the key of a the key of a has a, a back chord which is the f sharp minor so when you make the key of a you'll uh, need the f sharp minor you need the d you need the a and your e okay so the f sharp minor your number six the d will be your number four the a will be your one and then the e will be your five let's take it slow So basically, the progression is the same throughout the whole song. So six, four, one, and five. Okay. So right now we are going to look at the right hand. The right hand is uh, is important because it determines so much how your song is going to sound like. Okay. So bear with me. Let's get into it right now. Alright, uh, now we are looking at the right hand uh, and remember I've always told you that the right hand is very important uh, because the different patterns can determine how the song will sound like, okay? Uh, so, it's also important that you give your right hand time to, to learn how the patterns are. Uh, let me just give you a simple one and then I'll show you maybe another one that may be a little complicated but sounding more beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to be using the key of G. So do we say that we start with a six string when we are playing the E minor? When you're playing the C, you start with a fifth string. When you're playing your G, you start with a sixth string again. Then that you start with a fourth string as the root. Let me take it slow. Back. Uh, that you take it slow when you're just starting okay but if you're good at what you're doing you can just do it faster so you can also do the strumming but I'm trying to be as much slower as possible for you to understand it up down up down when I'm doing when I'm uh, using the strumming uh, when I'm doing the strumming I use this we call it the index finger so so there's also another picking So 
basically there's a lot that you can do with your right hand but uh it's something that also grows with time just like your left hand and uh if you're a learner give yourself time to learn this and start by concentrating on your left hand first then the right hand will come in because the right hand will require you to be moving the left hand faster not just uh, sluggishly or slowly yeah uh, that's it for today i hope that lesson was uh, helpful mr calvin thank you for reaching out and uh if you're new here please subscribe uh, so that every time I upload a new video you are notified as one way of supporting this channel i love you guys Mwah, peace out